Alejandro Perez. Entwistle back for the first time in nearly 500 days. He's in the black trunks. Perez is in the white. Entwistle, a true workaholic in the gym. Look at this. Goes in for a scissor sweep. Not able to get it. And he's going to roll back. He loves the leg locks. He's just, but now he's stuck in the mount. Perez has got to be careful. Entwistle can go for these from a lot of nasty positions. And Whistle's complaining about something here. And Whistle complaining to the referee saying that Perez is greased. He's going to check his legs right now with his bare hands. You know, the one thing I can not see is that All right, any more of that bullshit right, sorry, okay. either Perez doesn't grow any leg hair or he shaved his legs before this fight which is really common a lot of guys do that when they're going to take on a leg lock specialist because if you're a hairy guy it will give especially early in the fight it'll give that guy more grip to finish those leg locks and i did read the lips of the referee grant waterman he walked over to ent whistle and said he's not greased so. no i mean these legs that you win a guy greed you could see a lot more shine on those legs ent whistle started training seven years ago after failing to make it as a professional soccer player and really says he's grateful that it played out this way. Nine and two in his MMA career. All nine wins in the first round. They train all around the world. Oh, all the way to oh, eats a big right. He's hurt. He's hurt bad. Did a nice job trying to smush his face up against Perez here and hide. Nicely done there by Entwistle to tie him up and buy himself some time. See if Paris can use his forearm, create a little bit of space, but he's got to be careful. When Entwistle is in these positions, he can rip heel hooks very quick. This could be nasty. It looks like he's going to lose the leg. Nice work from Perez, who you can tell has done an excellent job preparing his defense for these leg lock attacks. Now, this one's deep, though. He could be in trouble here. Now Entwistle has that left heel forward. Paris got He cleared it. Now he's got to sit up and attack the hands of Entwistle and pull them down, and he does. He's able to slide his knee past the hips of Entwistle. That's the key. Perez has got to push off and separate here. He's expended a lot of energy, got a little bit wild with his ground strikes. Just over two minutes gone in round one. Entwistle is relentless with these leg locks. Perez has got to look to separate, get him back on the feet. Again, watch that knee. If the knee is past the hips like it is right now, he's not... He's not in nearly as much danger. Now he's using his other foot to kick his right heel past, doing an excellent job. Now he should control the hands here. He did it. He pushed back with his hands, didn't control the hands at Whistle, who's now going for another heel hook. And Whistle smartly transitioning, going side to side with each one. And Paris has got to be careful as he goes for these punches. Perez flailing a little bit with those strikes. I mean, you got to wonder where the confidence is of Entwistle. I mean, he's going after these and failing time and time again. I mean, it's the only offense he's mounted. He's got four submissions in under a minute. Last UFC fight, minute four seconds, a heel hook win over Anthony Burchak. I'll tell you, and that's a problem. When you win so quickly by those submissions, when it doesn't happen, what's your plan B? I mean, this is obviously not bothering Paris. Some guys are really flexible in that knee and that ankle, and these don't bother him as much. And when he's got his chest that close to Entwistle's face, it's really hard for Entwistle to really create the kind of torque necessary to finish this technique. Finally, Entwistle starting to cover up a little bit. Perez, though, making these shots count. He is. You can see Entwistle. I mean, has he given up here? Is he realizing now his main move isn't working? Just over a minute to go in the round. Entwistle eating a lot of big shots here, Referee trying him. to intelligently defend himself. He now just Paris. said something. He yelled something to the referee, maybe telling him he's fine. Stop, 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 stop. And that's going to do it. Alejandro Perez gets Ian Entwistle out of there. And that, for Perez, will be his 10th round finish. So the evolution continues for one of Mexico's brightest prospects, Alejandro Perez. And you can see, look at Perez. He's wobbled a little bit on those ankles and the knees. 